Hello, this is Pastor David Charlton. It's just a little bit afternoon, and this is my devotion for Thursday, August 19th, 2021. I want to read from uh, Luther's works, volume 41. This is Luther in his writing on the councils in the church from 1537. He says this about the seven marks of the church, and this is the seventh mark of the church. If you find this mark, you know that you found the true church. This is what he said. Seventh, the holy Christian people are externally recognized by the possession of the sacred cross. They must endure every misfortune and persecution, all kinds of trials and evil from the devil, the world, and the flesh, as the Lord's Prayer indicates, by inward sadness, timidity, fear, outward poverty, contempt, illness, and weakness in order to become like their head Christ. And the only reason they must suffer is that they steadfastly adhere to Christ and God's word, enduring this for the sake of Christ. As Matthew 5 says, Blessed are you when men persecute you on my account. Matthew 5, verse 11. So the thing that identifies the church is not the cross on the building. It's the cross that the members of the church bears and the whole church bears. Um, one of uh, my favorite hymns, probably one of yours as well, is Lift High the Cross. This is what it says. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim. Till all the world adore his sacred name. Come Christians follow. Where our captain trod, our king victorious, Christ the Son of God. Led on their way by this triumphant sign, the host of God in conquering ranks combine. All newborn soldiers of the crucified bear on their brows the seal of him who died. O Lord, once lifted on the glorious tree, as thou hast promised, draw us all to thee. So shall our song of triumph ever be. Praise to the crucified for victory. Lift high the cross. The love of Christ proclaim till all the world adore his sacred name. That's the calling of the church. To lift high the cross, to testify to Christ and to follow him. And that inevitably means that the world, the devil, and our own sin, sinful flesh will oppress us. In the church, we talk about two parts of the church, church militant and the church triumphant. The church triumphant is the church of the saints in heaven who have died and who already are there present with Christ. They already, already wear those white robes. We are the church militant, which indicates that while we are in this world, being a Christian will always be a battle. There will always be a fight. Not a fight with physical weapons. We don't go out to conquer the world for Christ using the sword. That's another religion that does that. We don't conquer the world for Christ. We conquer the world through the word and the sacraments, through the message of the gospel. But it does mean that we are involved in spiritual warfare against the forces in the heavenly places, against principalities and powers against the devil himself. And while we are in this life, we are always in that battle. But we know that Christ has won the battle for us. And if we remain faithful, if we bear the cross, we shall also triumph. That's the message of chapter 6 of Revelation to us. God did not promise that once we believed, we would be immediately taken to heaven. But we still live in this world where faith in Christ means that we will bear the cross. But he also promises that all who endure to the end will be saved. So that's our calling as Christians in this world, to bear the cross, to follow Christ, to follow the Lamb wherever he goes, and being willing to bear the suffering that comes with it in order to glorify Christ, to bear witness to Christ, knowing that we will reign victorious with Christ as well. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you've told us that we must bear the cross, and that those who reject the cross reject you.
But on the other hand, those willing to bear the cross and suffer in this world from sin and death and the devil, from the world and from our own sinful flesh, they will be victorious and reign with him. Give us the grace, Lord, to bear the cross and follow you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being with me today, and God bless you on your journey as you bear the cross. Amen.